Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am back at you today with a Half Price Wednesday haul. Um, and also, um, I have a Goodwill haul for you as well. Um, I'm sporting a new hairdo, got my hair cut. Thank you to my daughter. Uh, she um, paid for me to get my hair done as part of my Christmas gift. So kudos to my daughter. She knows exactly what to get me for Christmas. Um, anywho, um, yes, we have the Half Price Wednesday and the Goodwill haul. I think, um, I think I'll do Goodwill first. Um, I spent a total of $35. And um, I don't think I did too badly. Um, all the yellow tags were half price today. So I got quite a few things that were half price. But um, I also got some good deals that weren't half price. Uh, so let me share those with you. And I have to apologize for my voice. Um, I don't know what's going on with my throat. I hope I'm not getting sick. That would be my luck to get sick for the holidays. Um, all right, so let me start. First of all, I am aggravated, okay? Um, I picked up these two children's bookends, okay? This is the little girl, and as you can see, there's a huge chip there. Now, I picked these bookends up and I looked at all sides. Yes, I looked at every little corner and everything, but didn't bother to look at the figure on there. Okay, I am so mad because they are the cutest, the cutest bookends ever for a child's room. Look at that. Books fall open, you fall in. They are so cute, and I bought them for resale. Um, but I, th they probably aren't going to sell now because of the chip. So maybe, you know, my nephew has a lot of books, so maybe um, they can use these in his room. Um, tip number two, always, always inspect every inch of what you're buying. And we'll get into that subject again when I do the um, Salvation Army haul, my Half Price Wednesday haul. Anyways, but I only paid $1.70 each for these. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Okay, another half price item was this little cutie. <laughs> Just what I need, some more Halloween decorations, yay! Um, he was a dollar seventy as well, and if you turn him around, he's got a different face on this side, and he opens up in three sections. I said that is like the cutest thing for a dollar seventy. How can you beat that? You, you can't. You really can't. Um, also for half price, um, for a dollar seventy, I got this. I thought it was just a really cute um, fall uh, bucket, you know, that you could put floral arrangement in or whatever. And then when I um, actually was wrapping it, I looked inside, there's a candle inside. So what I'll probably end up doing is finish burning down the candle and clean it out, and then I'm gonna use it for decor. I'll put flowers in it or whatever. I mean, that is so cute for $1.70. Get out of here, you can't really, like, it's awesome. So I wasn't passing that up, definitely not. Um, also, for $1.70, I got this really cool corn on the cob plate. I love it. It's by uh, OGGI Corporation, manufactured in Taiwan, but I love it. Love it. 
Uh, let me see. Anything else here from there for half price? Um, no. Okay. And again, I don't need any more fall decorations, but I couldn't pass this guy up. You guys know I love scarecrows. Whoops, let's take that off. He was $3.39. But he is so cute. I was not leaving him there. Look how cute he is. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know I have issues. <laughs> what else is new? Okay, and um, then I got this for my daughter. I, I might wrap it up and give it to her for Christmas. Mm-hmm. Yipper. Winnie the Pooh. It was never used brand new, but it's got a little bit of damage on the bottom. It looks like it got wet or something. Um, but it's, it's otherwise in excellent shape other than that little bit of an issue on the bottom. And you're not going to see it anyway when it's hanging on the wall. So, yep. So I'm going to wrap her up for her. Um, the other deal I got, which I really, I could not even believe it. Let me move some of this stuff out of my way. Are these florals, okay? Look at these beautiful florals. Right? I don't know what this piece of blue fuzz is that's in there. But, uh, yeah, let's get that out of there. Okay, so... How much do you think that I paid for this bouquet of greenery? I paid 50 cents. Mm hmm 50 cents. 5-0. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. And I paid 50 cents each for these. Now, this is where I don't understand their pricing. Okay, you saw the size of those bouquets for 50 cents. So these were also 50 cents, the picks. I mean, I'm not complaining. I just don't understand how they arrive um, at their prices, okay? But it was to my advantage, so I appreciate it. Um, I got this one and another one like, uh, like it. 50 cents. They were all 50 cents. And I got these three. Oops. Oh my God. This blue thing is like following me. Get out of here. These. Which I think are really pretty. Yeah. So, 50 cents each. I thought that was a pretty, pretty big steal. Um, was that it? Oh, no. No. Uh, the reason that my uh, spending was so high um, was for this particular thing. Um, oh, wait. No, that's from... I'm Okay, I'm losing it, guys. I'm extremely tired. It's after 8 o'clock. <laughs> it's past my bedtime, and I've been out all day running... Working, my feet are killing me. Um, let me get this up here so that I don't. Hang on a second. I don't want to knock anything over. I you're probably not going to be able to see this whole thing, but okay. Okay, let me do it this way. We have Mary, Joseph, and the baby Jesus. You see that? And it's made of resin. It's, it's beautiful. It's dirty, but it's beautiful. And I would say it's probably like... 
would say it's like three feet tall. Um, I paid $10.39 for it. Um, I was going up to check out and I happened to, you know, turn to my right and I was like, <gasps> oh my God, like I broke my neck and I grabbed it immediately. And so when the guy was ringing me up, he goes, where'd that come from? I said, it was right there. He says, oh my God. He goes, I didn't even see it. He said, I don't know. I wonder when they put that out. I said, I don't know, but I saw it right away. So yep, $10.39. And I think it's gorgeous. So with that and these other things, um, I don't think I did too bad. Um, you know. Okay, so that was... Goodwill. Now, half price Wednesday haul at Salvation Army yesterday. Excuse me, I gotta roll my sleeves up. I'm having a hot flash. Having a hot flash. If any of you ladies out there are dealing with the wonderful, wonderful thing called menopause, share it with me in the comments below. How long have you been dealing with it? Are you ready to kill somebody yet? Because I've been dealing with it for almost eight years now. And um, that would probably be why my boyfriend moved back to his parents' house. <laughs> but anyways, uh, no, he actually is back there taking care of his parents. But anyways, um, yeah, it's just lovely. Okay, so let's get back on the subject of the haul. Um, I spent at the Salvation Army $26.41. So let me show you. Um, I got another um, vintage um, tree topper. And it blinks. And it has all of its little, pretty little... Uh, plastic thingies on it, so I don't have to worry about trying to find ones to to go with it. So I got this for a dollar. One dollar. Okay. Um, I got this cute little bike, and the reason I got it is because I do have a larger version of this, and I thought it would look cute with both of them together. And um, this I paid 45 cents for. It was regular 89 cents half price. Oh no, wait a minute. Blue tag was not half price, so I did pay 89 cents. Um, I got this really nice orange um, battery operated uh, candle. Um, I, it was regular $1.30, so I paid what, 65 cents? Great, great deal. Um, another thing that I did not get half price is this um, Pyrex. It's the Woodland um, pattern butter dish. And it's an excellent shape, no chips or anything. And it's funny because I just sold the gravy boat uh, with the underplate um, the other day, yesterday, in fact, um, in the same pattern. So hopefully if I list this, the same person will buy this. <laughs> so that would be cool. Um, I got this uh, for a dollar. Uh, it's vintage. Um, and the top, you can see, has some patina going on there. But it's just like a little thing for your dresser to put jewelry in or whatever you whatever you would like. So I thought a dollar was pretty good for that. Um, I then got this cute little birdhouse. Look how cute that is. Can you tell I like birdhouses? My mom does too. Um, I just thought it was so cute. Had the tags on it and everything. It's got a little bit of... Um, the paint coming off over here, but I just think that gives it the rustic charm. And it's a little bit bent, which I'll fix. But um, I don't remember what I paid for this. I can't remember if it was half price or not. So um, then I got this cute little uh, candle holder. 
Look how cute. Ah, <laughs> the little Bonnie. And this was half price. It was uh, 45 cents. And this is made by Jasco. And it's dated 1978, if you could see that. I don't know if you can. So I got that. Um, and I did get a bunch of ornaments. Um, a lot of these old uh, wooden ornaments. Look how cute. His head's turned. He's like, I don't know, possessed. He looks like his head's backwards. <laughs> But I got, you know, I'm just going to run through them real quick. I got a whole bunch of, they were uh, 15 cents each. I, 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 I don't know. I'm just kind of getting into these ornaments. Some of them are missing little pieces and stuff, but I can fix those. Like that. Oh, this one's cute. Look at that one in the little wooden rocking chair. And then we got uh, this guy and another one of these guys. And we got a snowman with a broom. And then we got a couple of these girls. She's got some kind of an instrument there. This one is missing hers, I guess. Um, this guy, he looks kind of like he's a clown or something. Then we have Santa dancing on the chimney, doing the old two-step. Then we got this guy, this guy, um, a bell. Um, this is one of those uh, spun head, uh, silk spun, I forgot what they're called. I have to ask um, Miss Stone home. Yeah, got one of those. Got a couple of um, drums. Uh, we have a Santa head because <laughs> we're missing the body, but that's okay. Um, I got this little sled, and I have the little people that go on it. I just have to uh, put them on. There's a couple of them. And I have this little, like, uh, wreath or something. And the last one is this little tree. Uh, so that's it for all the little wooden ones. And then I grabbed these. I got three of these. 15 cents each. I feel like I'm at the disco. And then I got this one. I thought that one was kind of cool. All right, that was it for the ornaments. Um, then I got this really pretty linen, um, kind of like a, I guess it's like a dresser scarf or you could put it on. Look at that, how pretty that is. It's it's a good size too. It's probably, it's probably like three feet long. So I got that. And... Um, let me see, what else did I get? I think um, the only other hard goods that I got, which is the sore subject with me, um, along with, you know, this chipped little girl here. I have this exact picture, okay? This is the um, ball picture. Um, and I think I, it's the either the Lido or the Milano roly poly whatever um, pattern. And you don't come across the blue ones very often. I have um, one in gold with some glasses to match. So when I saw this up on the shelf, I was extremely excited about it. So and it was real like dirty, like real dusty, dirty. Looks like they just took it out of somebody's basement or something that is was down there for a hundred years. So I I grabbed it and I you know I checked right away up here all around here the spout and everything to make sure it wasn't chipped. 
So I get it home and I'm washing it and lo and behold, we have, if you could see, let me see if you guys, oh, here it is. Can you see this huge crack that's going all the way down and it's all around the handle. See that? The hole around the handle. So it it's, yeah, useless to me now. So I was pretty aggravated about that last night. And then today I get home and find the chip on the little girl's dress on the bookend. So I'm like batting a thousand these days. But, um, yep, so um, I did buy a few um, clothing items. So, let me pull this bag up here. Ugh. All right. I did get a pair of um, loft. Uh, they're a real dark blue corduroy. Whoops. Uh, straight leg pants and uh they were regular price five dollars so i paid 250 for them and they're in excellent shape all right so let's get those out of the way this shirt is so cute i love it look at this shirt <laughs> yeah. tell me how cute this shirt is And I only paid $1.50 for it. I love it. And it's made by, um, oh, it's Marilyn Monroe. Holy cow. Marilyn Monroe. Happy birthday, Mr. President. All righty. So I got that. I got this one. This one is um, Sonoma. I got it because I have, it's like a, a khaki green. I don't know if you could see it, the color real well, but I have a pair of LuLaRoe leggings. Um, they're kind of like fallish, um, and it has this color green in it, so I was really glad I found this to go with those. Then I have another pair of leggings that have this dark green. It's a very dark green color. It's got the, the short sleeves. And this I paid a um, dollar for. Um, then I got... I just love t-shirts. They're just so comfortable. So I got, this is Old Navy. I paid a dollar for it. Just a real cute um, striped, wear it with jeans. Um, I got these really cute pair of um, leggings. I paid, these are um, pink rose. These are Victoria's Secret. Uh, I paid a dollar for them. Look how pretty they are. I love them. Too bad they don't fit me. They're a medium. Um, I didn't buy them for me. I bought them for uh, one of the girls I work with. I'm really mad that they don't fit me. But you know what? Maybe um, when I lose all this weight that I gained starting January 1st, I'm starting a diet. Uh, maybe I'll be able to get into a medium again. Who knows? And the last thing I got was this, uh, pretty, it's like a peach colored. I paid $2 for it. Just a nice long, uh, tunic type sweater, long sleeves. And this is Chico's, Chico brand. Yeah, so that will do it for 
this haul, folks. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm choking myself. <coughs> I hope you enjoyed this <coughs> haul. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that, folks. I choked on my own spit. I hate when that happens. Um, anywho, um, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I would like to thank all of my current subscribers. Uh, you guys are awesome. Um, please keep up the comments. I love chatting with you guys. And recently, I've gotten quite a few new subscribers. And I just want to welcome you guys and say thank you so much for subscribing. And I hope that you will continue to watch. Um, and I just want to say to everyone, I hope you have a great rest of your week. And um, I will see you very soon. All right, guys. Have a good night. Bye. Okay. I knew I was going to forget something. How could I forget my snowman sign? Oh, my God. He is so cute. And on top of it, he looks pretty vintage looking to me. On top of it, you can put a light in this hole so it looks like the lamp is lit. Tell me how cute he is. I paid $3.39 for him, but it was worth it because I love him. I think he is so cute. Okay, really, that's it, guys. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.